Now what better way to enhance our chocolate experience than with the ideal beverage? With me today is Carol from Dragonfly Hill Vineyards. Carol, how are you? Hello, bonjour. Bonjour to you. You picked the perfect day to come. We got chocolate. Excellent. Now there's some people out there that say chocolate and wine, you know, you can't really do it, but uh, or dessert and wine is kind of a, a faux pas. But what do you think? You can do whatever you want. I like your attitude there, <laughs> nice. So what are we pouring? We're gonna pour the bumbleberry today. Um, it's got about 10 or 11 different fruits, all from the Saanich Peninsula. Berries, fruit, and uh, I won't say too much at all the right. beginning. I'll tell you what's we'll in there. We'll taste it and find out? Yeah, we'll, well taste let's it have and a go. We'll find out. All right. Let's see. So this, uh, what, what, what would be the ideal time to, uh, to drink a glass of this? Well, I like to drink it uh, with a few ice cubes oh, myself. Very nice. Sometimes we mix it with the Ortega, and a couple ice cubes, and call it the Linnea wine cocktail. Oh. Or we mix it with the Merlot and call it the Olivia. After Olivia. my other daughter. Oh, uh, the daughters get some uh, time in the sun they too. They get hey? something. Um, but oh. normally at my house, I serve this wine with turkey dinner. Oh yeah? Which I usually make three times a year for holidays. And we have it right with the with the plate of turkey stuffing. See, you, you, you blew my mind right there. Just it, uh, I was expecting <laughs> like sweet, but it has that sweetness of some berries, but then it has a really lovely sort of uh, sort of acidity to it as well. It's mm. gorgeous. Well, there's some... I can see how that would go really well with turkey dinner. Yeah, there's some sour fruits in there, uh, nice. like rhubarb, rhubarb. blackcurrants, uh, then a lot of sweet fruits, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries. So you think it'll hold up to the chocolate? I hope so. What do you say we give it a try? Yeah, I got sure, strawberries on the plate, so it should do okay. Here's your spoon. Okay. Try some of the poto creme there. Now, let me move my glass out of the way. Dig right in. Go. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. See the texture on that? Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's not a uh, not a creme yeah, brulee, it's like right? A, it's not set completely. It's almost like a thick hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Great description. Mm. Mm. So nice. Really good. Now what I'm going to do is pop a little ice cube in. Mm. Put a little more in there. Beautiful. I like it cold, but I thought we'd start with it <clears throat> just room temperature. Right. And now it's for sipping, hey? That goes really nicely with that chocolate. Mm -hmm. I think the, the because that chocolate isn't super sweet, the two of them pair really nicely together. Oh, now this is this is just for us to sip here. Cheers, yeah. Carol. Thanks for coming thanks, on the show. Thanks for having me. Check out our website where you'll find more information on today's show and maybe a few surprises. Mm. I'm Garrett Shack. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to savor the flavor.